guys on this wet and nasty day, spring day, decided to veer off the path a little bit so that we can talk about some more guns because don't we all love that. So today we're going to be doing a double feature of this little gun right here. So first off, we're going to start off with why this little guy is my new appendix carry handgun. Okay, let's jump into it. Okay, so before we get into this, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff because that's what keeps this channel rolling. And if you want to continue to see more fun Alaskan content made in the snow and avoiding the coronavirus by being in the woods, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. Okay, so before we jump into why this is my new uh, appendix carry handgun, we should probably talk about what it is. Now, when we start talking 1911s, which in case you can't already tell, this is a 1911. <laughs> 1911s get controversial. Everyone has their own opinion on the best maker of 1911s, and everyone thinks, you know, you should, and people who subscribe to those camps think that you should clearly go to that 1911. So for some it'll be Sig, for some it'll be Ed, Ed Brown, sorry, there we go. Uh, some people will say Kimber, some people will say on and on and on. This is a Springfield, and from what I can tell, Springfield seems to be just fine. This handgun, ever since I started running uh, Wilson Combat Magazines, has been running 100%. Before that, it was primarily failures to uh, lock the, or the failure to the last round bolt, hold open kind of thing. So nothing catastrophic. It is a 1911. They are more high maintenance than a Glock. I know that, but this is a Springfield, like I said, compact range officer and to many people's dismay again <laughs> that this is an also nine millimeter now some people may ask why the hell did i choose a nine millimeter 1911 and the primary reason is due to the weight of the 1911 nine mil is a very pacified round to shoot out of a 1911 frame and overall handgun and I really like shooting 9 mils. In addition to that, uh, 9 mil is a round that I can afford to shoot a lot. And so what this goes back to is I don't like carrying guns every day that I don't train with frequently. And by frequently, I mean at least once a month, but usually once a week. So with a 45 or a 10 mil or a 357 SIG, whatever, they, they make 1911s in a lot of different calibers. All of those other calibers, I really can't afford to run that often, and therefore I don't feel that comfortable uh, carrying a gun that I don't practice with frequently. However, 9mm, I practice with a lot, and I can afford to practice with a lot, so that kind of is why I have a 1911 in 9mm. So, why did I choose a 1911 of all bastardly things as my new uh, appendix carry? So there's a handful of reasons, and the first one is probably the most obvious, and that is that it's a single stack handgun. And while I'm not going to lie, and I'm going to talk about in a little bit, my P10C by CZ, it's a great handgun, I love carrying it, and it's such a shooter's handgun. The issue is, it's a double stack, it's a bigger handgun for being a compact, and it's just hard for me to comfortably carry. It felt like it was constantly stabbing me in the guts, and I would rather not die from carrying my gun. I'd rather carry my gun, I carry my gun so I can live, not have my gun kill me in the process of carrying it. So that leads me back to finding a single stack 9mm that I can carry. Now, certainly people will say P365 by SIG, or they'll say Glock 43 by Glock, and you know, they'll say all these different single stack nines, that would have been smaller, lighter, more compact, and probably carried a round or two less than this handgun, but you know, been about the same. But the other reason why I wanted to go with 1911 is I'm at that point in my gun collection where I have a lot of the guns that I need to have, you know, for practical use for, so to speak, go-to war kind of handguns. And now I'm at that point where I'm getting guns that don't just fit needs like carry, but they also fit wants. And one thing that I want is a 1911. I love the simplicity. I love I love how they feel, I love their ergonomics, or there's so many great upsides to a really well-built and well-thought-out 1911. And like I said, 
this one is no exception in my opinion. So, like I said, going back to the appendix carry, I was looking for something smaller and a single stack 9. Something that would easily conceal on my frame. If you guys have watched the channel or been around the channel at all for any length of or period of time you know I'm not a very thick person so it's harder for me to find guns that work well without irritating me or without hurting me while I'm trying to carry them so so that led me once again back to this little guy and like I said while there are other better options the reason why I like the 1911 is it gives me the fizz it's a gun that excites me it's not just another polymer wonder handgun that's striker fired and we all know how cool they are and albeit they may be more reliable they may be more functional they may be better in every other way but a 1911 motivates me it's something that i see as awesome so that's how it ended up as my new EDC, but primarily appendix carry handgun. Now I wouldn't throw this on my hip, I wouldn't open carry this thing. One, it's really too small for that, and it's also not realistic for that. If I was going to go for open carry, I would probably carry something like the P10C, It'd be a lot more practical. But for something that's super, but for something that's nice and slim, nice and trim, and gets the job done pretty well, I think that this little compact range officer by Springfield does it for me and once again some people complain about you know reliability but personally I have got this gun running flawlessly on just about any you know just bulk brass uh, 9 mil and I have a lot of it from many different manufacturers this thing seems to eat it all up just fine so as far as it goes when it comes to carrying this thing for those who are wondering try to prop this back up so for those wondering how it carries i think this gun actually carries very well i was a little bit uh maybe scared if you scared for lack of better terms that this wouldn't be the best uh, appendix carry and once again it may not make the sense the best sense for everyone but for me it does actually work very well it is a pretty small handgun all things considered and being that it is single stack it is very thin or relatively thin thinner than something like a p10c or a glock 19 for sure um, and it does carry very well it doesn't really have any sharp protrusions that stick out and stab me kind of like the p10c did so it actually works really well as an appendix carry handgun in addition to that i made sure that i got a leather holster for it so that this has a bit of give to it so that when the gun's in here it's not in a rigid kydex holster and the holster isn't stabbing me you know alongside with the gun or the gun you know not being able to move ends up stabbing me i've tried to uh mitigate any kind of stabbing me kind of things that can happen when you appendix carry so overall uh I'll probably do a second part to this in a few months after I have a few months worth of conceal carrying this thing appendix. Right now I've been conceal carrying it for a week appendix style or appendix carry and it's been working really well for me and I'm pretty excited about that and that's why I thought I'd make this video. Anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully you've learned something and maybe 1911s are the original single stack 9 mil that we should all be appendix carrying. Or maybe not. I don't know. It's up to you guys. But as always, God bless and I'm out.